The Defense Department's fiscal year 2023 budget request includes the largest ever increase in spending for research and development. To find out more about the current state of the federal R&D landscape, Executive Mosaic spoke with Alka Bavi, Chief Operations Officer of Riverside Research, in a new video interview. Jason Aiken, Chief Financial Officer of General Dynamics, has been appointed to serve in the additional role of Executive Vice President of the company's technology segment starting January 1. The U.S. Army has awarded spots on a $906.6 million contract to 30 companies that will compete for tasks to assist government organizations responsible for CBRNE threat protection. Proposed legislation to address the sharing of radio frequency spectrum space between government and industry could impact U.S. national security, according to Navy Vice Admiral Jeffrey Trussler. He offered his views on this topic during GovConWire's Military Services Intelligence, Plans and Priorities Forum. Amazon Web Services has secured a five-year, $723.9 million blanket purchase agreement to provide the Department of the Navy access to AWS cloud computing environment, professional services, and training and certification courses. Philip Harlow, former president and CEO of Domo Tactical Communications, has been named president of Telesat's U.S. subsidiary that offers SATCOM services to the U.S. government. The Professional Services Council has named its 2023 board leaders and elected 11 new members to the board of directors who will serve for a term of up to three years and six industry leaders who will serve on the executive committee for a one-year term. Dave Walsh, former director of Open Systems for the military avionics and helicopter market at Collins Aerospace, has joined Perry Labs as vice president of engineering. Join GovConWire's events 2023 DoD. Digital Modernization Forum on January 12, 2023. Visit govconwire.com events. Jim Guiazda, former vice president of the federal civilian and sled business at Mettel, has been appointed vice president of the public sector vertical at Equinix. London-based education publishing and assessment services company Pearson has agreed to acquire Personnel Decisions Research Institutes from SHL Group in a strategy to capture new business in the U.S. federal talent management segment.